is the biggest challenge for you running a marathon? Getting past 20 miles. <laughs> Matt McAvoy is one of those guys who's lost track of how many marathons he's run. Well, I think I've done either maybe six or seven. I, I actually, I'm not positive. You might not guess he lost his sight 10 years ago due to a genetic disease. It's called uh, Lieber's hereditary optic neuropathy. Only after he became blind did he start running. Then when he joined Achilles International, he was paired with guide Craig Polakoff, an instant bond. Seeing an athlete who has greater struggles that they go through, it makes you realize that, you know, maybe your struggles aren't as, as big as you think they are, and they're not as insurmountable. I'm tr trusting my life with the other person, so <laughs> literally. According to Achilles, more than a quarter of Americans have a disability, and nearly half of them get no physical activity. That's the pattern Deborah Grober worried she was getting into. I had never run before the age of 50. Now she's nearly 60, training for the half marathon. Marathon. She lost her sight and her hearing as a teenager due to a genetic condition. At the time, my parents took me out of all athletics. So it was very discouraging to be able to get back into athletics as an adult just really helps to fulfill my life. Proving there is no hurdle or distance too great for them in Center City. Philadelphia Marathon is underway. Karen Hua, NBC 10 News.